God for the For You page. I saw a woman clean her entire oven using vinegar, baking soda, and dish soap. Just so happened I have an absolutely disgusting toaster oven that I haven't used in years because it's so gross. I can feel you judging me through the phone. So you're going to add equal parts vinegar, dish soap, and baking soda. Look at that react already, how cool is that? I could have just stirred this for forever, it was so fun. Okay, so now you're gonna take it and put it on your absolutely disgusting surface. You're supposed to let it sit for 24 hours. I'm impatient, so I did less, but look at this. Guys, look at this. It's not normal how clean it got it. Just a little reminder of what it looked like before. Imagine if I left it on for the whole 24 hours. Thank you so much for this tip. If you know what I'm about to do with all this stuff, then you officially made it to cleaning TikTok. And you know that that's gonna turn into this really soon. I know, I know, I'm grossed out too. First, I'm gonna put in some OxyClean, then some washing soap, oh, that's too much. And some Borax, I definitely think that's too much. Then go in my seemingly clean, or what I thought was clean, couch cushions. And this is what happened literally 30 seconds after putting them in here. I haven't let these sit, this is right out of the gate, this is what came out. Now I'm gonna let these sit in here for 24 hours. This is after 24 hours. I think it's pretty much the same. It probably is more disgusting, but just to me, it all looks just like a murky mess. This is a pretty new couch too. I haven't even had it that long. Now I'm just gonna keep rinsing it till the water runs clear. I just put them outside to dry in the sun. I'm afraid they're gonna shrink in the dryer. And this is what I gotta deal with while I wait for it to dry. But I'll let you know what they look like when they do dry. The OxyClean washing soap and borax thing that I did on the couch cushions. Well, it works like a charm on rugs, too, which is about 10 times more gross. But I got them super, super clean. I'm obsessed with doing this now. Hey, guys, I just want to show you really quick a really easy way to clean your microwave, not using any chemicals. Um, I just use water and vinegar. I do about a cup of water and just pour in, I don't really measure, just a little bit of vinegar. So I put the vinegar and water mixture inside the microwave. I'm going to close it up and set it for about four minutes. So the time's up on the microwave. This water was boiling, steaming the whole time. And I'm just gonna take a paper towel and everything should just wipe off nice and easy. So I'm gonna do that throughout the whole microwave and I'll take this separately and dishwash it. But that is how I chemically free clean my microwave. So I hope you guys try this trick. My pantry has just gotten completely out of control. I've seen a lot of you who are way better at adulting than me be getting these clear bins to organize your pantries. So I made a home goods run and I'm gonna see if I can do it too. By the way, they were 10 for two big ones or 10 for three small ones. It looks so much better already. I can see everything that I have. I absolutely love this. We'll see how long my kids let this last, but for now, so far, so good. For the people that still don't know that you can do this when you're cleaning your stove, these come off. You can pop these right off. That way you can clean all the splatter and grossness underneath them, no problem. And then you can easily pop them back on just like that.